Hello everybody, this is Sairam from Internet. So, yeah, I'm very happy to uh, participate in this conference uh, as a topic of uh, why we need lot of and vulnerability. Yes, so, yeah, can you think about like uh, why we need to measure water? As uh, the World Water Organization described that uh, by uh, 2025, the water strategy may be uh, huge in many uh, various sectors and other countries. So we need to uh, reduce the consumption and usage of water. Uh, so let us see why and how. So why do you need to measure water? So yes, basically you can uh, basically you can see that so in many industries or in many government and public sectors they uh, with that you can see that there will be a wastage of waters right so yeah oh, where we are getting waters right so we are getting water from the ground water so ground surface so from that ground surface only the uh, we are getting and water so yeah so we are pre we are paying uh, we are paying for water for water but we don't know how much we are paying right so for that one the water meter is a very important role uh, for uh, this uh, question so yes why we need to incorporate a uh, water meter with the norama yes this is the what you would ask for uh, me i hope Yes. So basically, why we can't we we don't go for uh, why you, you can ask like why you you can't go for GSM or any other communication? Yes, I have an answer for that. Yes. Basically, we, we can see like a uh, uh, difference between like uh, GSM based water meter and uh, uh, LoRaWAN based water meters. Yes, uh, we can see. So if you know, I will say how much. Um, so why? Flora one is important for water meter. So yeah, so basically it will be a long range communication. You can able to get access about like a four kilometers in the area. You can able to get the data from uh, uh, water meters very like, quick. And uh, next one is that it is a secure data. So there will be no uh, secureless data it will be there. And um, yeah, it is a low power consumption. It is a uh, 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 every water meter, uh, if you are having a LoRaWAN water meter, it, it will be uh, the consumption will be very less. And uh, we are suggesting that, like in Aquatops, we are uh, suggesting uh, the battery life will be like uh, uh, three years to uh, sixteen years. That is in battery life. So you can see that uh, why, uh, uh, how much uh, the low power consumption is there. So yeah. So um, yes, here I. Uh, I like to uh, speak about like uh, one example of uh, what why water meter. Is, uh, um, so here I will say one example. So yes. So just assume that you are the proprietor of uh, a township or uh, shopping or uh, anything. So yeah. So if you are the proprietor of the township. So in township there are uh, various houses, right? So basically, I just assume that uh, hundred. Uh, I should. Uh, I, I am uh, just assume that uh, there is a hundred houses or hundred hundred apartments just there. So uh, yes. So if uh, just uh, now I will say the comparison. So like in the GSM base and Loragan base. So. Uh, in GSM base, we are going for uh, 100 uh, devices. So uh, you need to recharge uh, every devices, uh, every devices monthly, right? So then only you can able to communicate with the cloud. So yes. So and another one is like uh, you should have a proper network. So proper network and good signal strength. Yes. So here you need more dependency on network operator. Right, so if there is no network, you can able to get the data. Yeah, so here, yes, so here I will say about like uh, how much you are spending money for uh, GSM based water meter. Like, approximately in India, I, I have mentioned the price like uh, uh, 249 per month. So, internet data package is uh, 249 per month, 
and just calculated for our 12 months and I have uh, put it, uh, got it uh, price and so maintenance charges uh, like uh, here they are um, having uh, 900 rupees per month and I just quoted the rates. So approximately you have like uh, like uh, 13 lakhs uh, or 14 lakhs for year if you are having GSM based water meter. So and next, how LoRaWAN is uh, uh, how LoRaWAN helps you and uh, how LoRaWAN uh, save your power. So before that, I will say uh, how LoRaWAN architecture works. So basically, uh, if you are having hundred water meters, right? So you are having hundred water meters. So that water meters doesn't need any internet connectivity for the water meters. So basically, how it works in sense like. Uh, that 100 water meters will communicate to one gateway. From that gateway, you you should have one any internet connectivity like some like GSM or Wi-Fi. So that, that uh, water meter will communicate to RF around 10 kilometers in the range. So from that gateway, we are providing uh, we are fetching the uh, data to an, a network server. From that network server, the uh, data are passing to the application server. At last, we are having one platform to view. How much water is consumed per day or per month? Uh, we are having the dashboard. Yes. So yes. Let us see how uh, LoRaWAN uh, saves the cost and uh, uh, yes. So if you are going for a LoRaWAN, you will be the whole responsible and you you will be have a own network. So if you are going for a LoRaWAN, you will having your own network. So there is no dependency on any other network, right? So Yes, uh, like it works up to a 40 kilometers in range. So you can have, a, you can uh, keep a water meters around 14 kilometers, and you can able to get the uh, data from uh, water meter. And uh, the operating cost will be very less. So yes, you can see that how how it how it is. So here there is no network cost for any uh, for each water meter. You have only cost uh, in gateway. You need provide only one internet connection for the uh, water meter. So then only from the gateway, uh, we are pushing it uh, to the cloud and we are getting the data. Yes. So it basically a full and full wireless water meter, there is uh, no uh, wires to be there. Uh, and here, uh, I'm, I am I quoted the cost, cost for uh, water and water meter. So for, a, for 100 water meters or 4000 water meters, we are using only one SIM card and we are getting the data. Yes. So the server cost uh, we are quoted like 365 rupees per uh, devices per, per device. Yes. So uh, this is the price. So uh, at last, uh, just compare the price of, uh, from uh, GSM based water meter and uh, LoRaWAN based water meter. The, so basically, here the LoRaWAN costs around only 34,000 per year. So just see about like uh, how uh, you are saving the cost of uh, by using LoRaWAN. So yeah, so this is the uh, overall uh, thing. And uh, here I am mentioning like uh, here uh, I am happy to uh, share our products. Like uh, uh, we are uh, this is an aqua drops, and we have uh, multiples of water meters like. Uh, from uh, it, the size varies from DN15 to DN400. Uh, so yes, you can uh, have these uh, uh, details from AquaDrops website.